All right, so uh, I think this is going to work. Should be good. So uh, we're talking about sigma notation in their properties today. That's the uh, thing, and that says the GI Joe Sigma 16, which has nothing to do with anything other than uh, it's kind of a cool graphic. At least that's what I think. So we've got a bunch of these formulas, so then they look sort of uh, uh, foreign, I guess. So well, let's try to explain what they are. So first of all, this is the sigma. It's the Greek letter S, capital S. And it's uh, generally in Matthews for sum. So we'd read this, the sum from i is equal to 1 to n of the a sub i. So we've got just a bunch of somethings, and we're going to add them up until we get all of them done. So it's the first a and the second a and the third a and the fourth a, da, 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 all the way down to the last a. Okay? So that's just what that notation means. Take whatever it is and collect up as many of them as you had and add them all together. Uh, if we have a constant in front of that, we can take the constant out in front of the sigma and multiply you know, after the fact, so just like multiplying everything here by k would be the same as doing the addition first and then multiplying by k that way. The other property of sigma would be that I can take a couple of different series and separate them. I can add up all the a's and then up all the b's and then add those two sums together and get the same, get the, uh, same results rather than having to do it separately. Okay, so <clears throat> if I want to know the sum of the i squareds from i equals 1 to 6, basically what that's saying is, well, what's 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared, plus 4 squared, plus 5 squared, plus 6 squared, and that's just arithmetic and we can do that, okay? That's all that's going on there. If I want to know the sum from 4 to 7 of the j plus 5 squareds, so I've got 4 plus 5 squared, see, because the bottom number here is 4, okay, 4, 4 plus 5 squared, and then I've got 5 plus 5 squared, and then I've got 6 plus 5 squared, and then I'm adding finally 7 plus 5 squared because it tells me to stop when j is equal to 7. I start with j equals 4. I end when j equals 7. Okay, so that's what uh, we're talking about. We're just adding up a bunch of things according to the expression that's there. All right, so if I want to add up a bunch of c's, okay, I've got this many of them, so it's like going c plus c plus c plus c plus c plus c plus c. It would be a shorter way to add up a bunch of c's. That's right. Repeated addition is also known as multiplication. So if I just take n times the constant or the constant times n, that's the same thing as the sum of the c's. All right, c plus c plus c plus c, n times is cn. Formula number one, duly noted. The sum of the i's. All right, well, that's asking what's 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus n. What's the total? Okay. Uh, well, if we look at Something like this, what's 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4? Probably you're adding it up and you're going, hey, that's 10. Okay, so what's 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6? And hopefully you're adding that up and you're going, that's, uh, sure, sure, sure. well, let's see, it's probably 11 more, 21. Okay, so if I keep doing that, you know, you could, you could add them through, but eventually it's going to get to be a point where it's a pain in the butt to do. So plus, and I'm going to do dot, 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 plus, uh, I don't know, uh, 80. Okay? And so you're not going to want to go through and go 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus, uh, plus 80. So we want to look for patterns. Okay, one thing that you probably did on this one is you just went, oh, well, it's 1 and 2, and you can add those in your head. But you might have noticed that 1 and 4 is 5, and 2 and 3 is 5. And so we end up with two sets of 5. And here, you might have noticed, then we get a bunch of sevens, right? And we end up with three sets of seven, okay? So what do you suppose we're going to end up with in here? This end, first and last, is 81. If I did two and 79, I'd get 81. Three and 78, I'd get 81. So I get a bunch of 81s. So the question is, how many 81s would I get if I had 80 numbers? Well, when I had four numbers, I get two sets. When I had six numbers, I get three sets. And I want to guess that when I have 80 numbers, I might get 40 cents, okay? So that's sort of the, the logic behind it, but we want to try to be a little more specific in what we're doing. So what we're doing is we're taking the first number and the last number, first and the last, we're adding them together, okay? And then we're multiplying that by how many sets we have. Well, really, actually, what we're multiplying by is half as many sets, as we, half as many numbers as we have, right? This is the number of sets. When we had four numbers, we got two sets. Six numbers, we got three sets. Eighty numbers, we got 40 sets. So half the numbers multiplied by the first plus the last, okay? So that's the formula for the sum of the i's. So if I want to add any number of i's, I can take the first 
number 1 plus the last and multiply it by the number, divide by 2. n times n plus 1 over 2 is what, uh, what happens. What happens if there's an odd number of numbers? It's alright. If I did 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 like this, I'd end up with pairs of 6, right? And uh, how many would I end up with? Well, I'd end up with 2.5, and that's okay. Alright? So, so we get some of the C's is CN, some of the I's is N times N plus 1 over 2. Okay, and uh, let's see, we're not going to go through the dur duration for the I squared, but there is an equation for them. It's, uh, let's see if I can remember, it's N times N plus 1 times 2N plus 1 over 6, and these will be clearer on the next slide. And then this is N squared times N plus 1 squared over 4. Let's see if I got those right. Yay! Okay, I did. Um, so those formulas, those are the ones that we're going to just, we're going to use throughout. You'll always have access to them, not necessarily on your note card, but on a separate sheet anytime you actually need them for anything to do these sigma notation problems. Let's do one, okay? We want to know the sum of the three i's plus two from i equals one to six. We could easily just plug in one, two, three, four, five, six, but we want to use our properties and see if we get some sort of an answer, okay? So if you remember from early on, we can rewrite this as three times the sum of the i's plus the sum of the twos. Okay, and we have formulas for this. So it's 3, sum of the i's is n times n plus 1 over 2. The sum of the 2's is 2n. Oops, need a parenthesis there. So now we can evaluate that when n equals 6. So we get 3 times 6 times 7 over 2 plus 2 times 6. Let's see, what do we got here? 42, 21, 21 times 3, 63 plus 12, 75, there you are. Okay, and my, in this case it might have been faster to just do, you know, 18 plus 2 and so forth and so on, but in the, in the, if it wasn't 6, then it, we want to go through the formula. All right, so we want to rewrite this in sigma notation. That's another little early on thing that we're going to do. So we're going to do the sum from i equals, well, let's see, what are we doing? We're adding up what seems to change is the 1, the 2, the 3, the 11 part, okay? So that's going to be my variable piece, and it looks like we're going to count from 1 to 11, and we're going to do 1 over 5i. See how that would work? 5 times 1, 5 times 2, 5 times 3, 5 times 4, da, 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 till we get to 5 times 11, okay? This is the part that changes, the 1 and the 5 stay the same, so we'd be repeatedly adding those together. Ooh, let's try this one. Sum from i equals 1 to 10 of i times i squared plus 1. First thing we want to do, I don't keep writing the 1 to 10 every time, but it's there. i cubed plus i, just multiplied, okay? Then I can break that into the sum of the i cubes plus the sum of the i's. i cubed is n squared times n plus 1 squared over 4. i is n times n plus 1 over 2. Uh, now let's plug 10 in, so we have 10 squared plus 11 squared, because that's what 10 plus 1 is, over 4, 10 times 11, over 2. Uh, and then we just have to do some arithmetic to come up with an answer. 10 squared is 100, 11 squared is 121, 4 is 4, this is 110 over 2. Let's go smaller still, so this is going to be 121. 12,100 actually over 4 plus, that's 55, right? What's this turn out to be? 3,025? 3, 3,025 plus 55 is 3,080. 3080, somebody check my arithmetic with a calculator, but I think I'm right. By golly, <gasps> another one. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see how we're going to do this. We're adding a bunch of k's, and we got n cubed and that sort of stuff in there. So what's this going to do? I'm going to get the n cubed out of the way for right now. I think that's what I want to do. Okay, times the sum because it's just a constant number. The you know, n's not going to change. So we've got six k squared minus six k. Probably could have got the six out of the way too, but probably will do that in this next swoop here. This is going to take a little while, so. Relax. 1 over n cubed. 1 over n cubed times 6 times the sum of the k squareds minus 6 
times the sum of the k's. I just broke them apart. Okay? Okay. And then I've got 1 over n cubed, 6. Sum of the k squared is n, n plus 1, 2n plus 1, coincident conveniently enough over 6, minus 6 times n, times n plus 1, over 2. We're extending. Uh, all that bracketed in. So let's see, we can get rid of the sixes. There's three, okay? So now, what I've got left here, I've got uh, this n times n plus 1 over 2n, 2n plus 1, all over n cubed, because I'm going to bring the n cubed back in, okay? Minus 3n times n plus 1 over the n cubed, because I'm bringing that back in there. Good so far? All right, here's where we get, here's where we get crazy. All right, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, so n plus 1 times 2n plus 1. Every single time that you do this out, it's going to be 2n squared plus 3n plus 1. Every single time. Okay, and then we're going to multiply that by n, and it's going to be over n cubed. Okay, um, and then minus 3n squared plus 3n over n cubed. I guess that's what we're doing here. So ultimately, this turns into 2n cubed plus 3n squared plus n over n cubed minus 3n squared plus 3n over n cubed. Okay? So I think that's as far as we're going to go with that. It's, you know, so now if I wanted to know for whatever value n is, I could just plug n in and I could get myself a number. Probably could have done it back there too would have been easier. But at this point, I could say, well, what happens when n gets really, 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 really big? If n gets really, really, really big, well, let's see. If we remember anything about horizontal asymptotes, and I'm sure we do, uh, this whole front part's going to go to two-thirds. Okay? And this whole back part's going to go to uh, small divided by big, going to go to zero. So ultimately, when n gets really, really big, this whole thing's worth two-thirds. Crazy. No? All right. Oh, geez, there's another one. Do we want to do that one? I'm not sure. It might have been I just stole my thunder on that one. Uh, try that one. Show me when you get it done. Okay, I'll give you the hint that you're going to do 1 minus n cubed. And then you're going to do sigma and you're going to expand this out. So you're going to get i squared minus 2i plus 1. Okay, and then break those into pieces. And then see what you come up with. And then doing the limit. So you're going to end up, when you get to the end, doing this sort of thing here. And I'm not sure how much time I've taken up today. I'm at 1259, so I probably could do that one, but I don't know if I feel like it, um, to be honest. So, what happened here? 13i. Uh, it's recording. It's all right. So those are the problems you're going to do. There's another cool little sigma. I think it's the uh, insignia of the SEAL team, uh, SEAL team sigma from G.I. Joe, great American hero. Back to there. Oh, that's really where I wanted to go. Okay, so you're going to just at this point plug in with the, you're going to break it into the sum of the, that's really a lousy sum, minus twice the sum of the i's, plus the sum of the 1's. Bring the 1 over n cubed in after you've used all your formulas, and go from there. Okay? I think I'll stop there. I'll let you, t let you uh, struggle through that, show me what you've got, and uh, we'll take it from there. Okay? Hey, hopefully you uh, pick something up. And hopefully this works because I've spent uh, now almost 14 minutes recording blindly in my new uh, upgraded, but not really, studio. Thanks. Talk to you soon.